Hello, and welcome to this edition of the Market Share. I'm Paul Gifford, Chief Investment Officer at First Source Bank. We just finished the first half of 2023 with very good markets. Both cash, equities, and fixed income all made money for our clients. So naturally, the next question is, what's going to happen for the remainder of the year? And in today's video, I'm going to talk about the economy, interest rates, and corporate earnings. Three big pieces that will help determine how investments perform in the second half. So let's start with the economy. The economy has been a pleasant surprise this year, and it's really been driven by employment. So my first graphic today shows the number of jobs that have been created over the last 12 months. And these are monthly numbers. So you can see we've never had lower than 209,000 jobs created in any given month. Typically for the US economy to continue to grow, you needed between 150 and 175,000 new jobs. So we've been able to exceed that for the last 12 months and it seems like we should be able to exceed that going forward. Now obviously there's a second part of that that has also helped the economy and that's the consumer. And the consumer has benefited from wage growth. Our next graphic shows that wage growth continues to be over 4%. In fact, the graph we have up shows that 10 years ago, the average wage growth was between two and two and a half percent. But about the last 14, 15 months, it's averaged 4%. So you have strong labor creation and you have strong wage growth, it means the consumer has been able to continue to spend money and grow the economy. Now, that's really good news for the average consumer, but it is also one of the biggest headaches for the Federal Reserve. So let's talk a little bit about interest rates. The Federal Reserve has been concerned about fighting inflation for really about the last 17 or 18 months. And one of the biggest components of inflation they've been concerned about has been wages. And so in response to higher inflation and the wage inflation, they've raised rates about 5%. Now on the next graph, you're going to see what's called the dot plot. This is the Federal Reserve's members estimating where they think interest rates will be over to the rest of 2023. 2024 and 25 and beyond. And if you look at the graph, you'll see that kind of the max rate they're looking at right now is between five and a half and five and three quarters percent. So that's likely two more quarter point increases at a minimum is what they're forecasting. Now, just to show you the difficulty in forecasting, if I would have shown you this dot plot a year ago, you would have seen three or three and a half percent as the max rate. So even the Federal Reserve is really be being challenged by these unique economic times. So clearly, if the Federal Reserve keeps raising interest rates, that will likely slow the economy and make it harder for corporations to make money. And that's the really the last part that I'd like to go over today. So when we think about corporate earnings, those are what drives stock prices higher. So the next graph we have shows for the last 30 years, in orange is the corporate earnings for the S&P 500, and the stock price for the S&P 500. You will see they generally move in tandem. Occasionally, corporate earnings are better than what stock prices are appreciating, and there's other times where stock prices appreciate before the earnings growth. And we're kind of seeing that right now. In the upper right-hand corner of the box, you'll see that corporate earnings for 2023 have started to come down. And to be honest, we would expect that for this quarter and probably for the next two quarters before an improvement in 2024. What we have seen though is stock prices already started to rebound. As we've talked about a lot in these videos is that the stock market is a forward looking vehicle. So it's looking out six and nine months from now and that expectation would that stock prices are gonna be higher because earnings are gonna be higher. So that's relatively positive and that's why we had a good first half of 2023. So lastly, you know, if the economy is doing okay, might be slowing, Interest rates are near the end of a tightening cycle and corporate earnings should bottom out in the next couple months. It is likely that we could still end up with a very good year for investors. We know that cash is going to earn between four and a half and 5% for the year. We know fixed income is also going to earn four and a half to 5% and stocks will likely end up with a high single digit return for the year. So as always, thank you for the opportunity to serve you and your family and have a great day.